Hey Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Delilah. So for those of you that know me, or you know, obviously some of you guys are new too, but I have been practicing and I guess getting to know tarot for quite some time now, but I've only recently started posting it on my social media and this is my first time doing any general readings on a social platform. So for those of you that are open-minded, welcome. I'm actually kind of excited that you guys are giving this a chance and just trying to see, you know, dabble into something different. Now, I can understand that some of you guys probably have heard negative connotations that comes along with tarot, or you might even have negative con connotations or views when it comes to tarot. But I don't know why you're watching this video, but at the same time, just sit back and I say just give it a chance. So before jumping into the reading, I do want to state that no, I am not a practicing voodoo witch doll person that lives in Boston that calls on negative dark spirits to get these messages. That is not what I do. I talk to God and I ask my spirit guides if they have any messages for me, you know, along this lifetime and along my journey. And for those of you that would like some messages that might help you out, you know, glad. Thank you guys for coming. Um... Sorry, I'm rambling. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to say. I'm also not going to edit this video because I want this to be as raw as possible. But this is a general reading. I'm going to keep saying this. This is a very general reading. This will not pertain to everybody. This message will not resonate with everybody. So if you have to sit there and boggle your mind and stretch yourself out trying to put the pieces together to make this message fit you, it is not meant for you. Just come next week. I'll have another video up for you and maybe that message will be for you. So before getting to the reading, I do want to introduce the deck of cards that I do use on my readings and I may or may not switch decks out and put new decks in, but these are my old favorites and these are my staples. So I like to use the Rider Tarot deck. This is the first deck that was ever created for tarot. I personally like to use it because it's a classic and I love being connected to, you know, history and like roots. And also because it's such an old deck, there's so many books, there's so many articles, there's just, there's just so much information on this for me to learn more, and that's really why I like it. I typically then follow up with the After Tarot deck. This is definitely one of my favorite, I guess, modernized decks. I feel like it complements the Rider Tarot deck very well because it does, you know, it's still, what's the word, it still gives credit to the first aesthetic but it tells the after story basically what happens from these images in the next episode that's really why i like it i think it's really cool i do do love readings but i only do love readings once a month and for those love readings i like to use the romance oracle cards that's what i like to call them a lot of people obviously even on the box itself it's the romance angels but i just call them romance oracle because you know we don't know who's talking to us. It could be a loved one that's passed on, but I do want to say that I do not call on deceased people, okay? I do not do any of that. That's not something I dabble in. I feel like that you must feel very entitled, person. And you know, just in my opinion, and I hope people don't take this the wrong way because some people really do use alternative methods to contact loved ones. But in my personal opinion, that's just not for me, and I feel like that's just above my rank. Let's get into the reading, Taurus. I'm really excited. So, I'm going to start off with the Rider Tarot deck. Every time I put these cards back in this box, they're already shuffled. But I do shuffle again in front of you guys. Because this is my first reading. And I am a very, very transparent reader. Uh, personally, for those of you that do, might, you know, maybe you do watch other tarot videos on YouTube... Some people will start off the videos with the cards already laid out and that's just not my style because in reality you could really sit here and like try to turn a bad reading into a good one because you want to or you might just try to turn a bad reading that you might not even understand it into something that you do understand and i feel like you're doing who's ever watching a discredit And if I'm talking too much, I'm sorry. I am nervous. <laughs> and I'm also not trying to, like, have you guys sit here in silence while you just watch me shuffle. But lately, the Taurus that I have been around, I work with a lot of Taurus, for one. But for two, I do have some Taurus friends. A lot of them are actually some of my closest friends. It seems like y'all are really going through it. In terms of relationships, like I feel like it's one extreme to the next. 
either you guys are being out here getting dogged out or you guys are like happily engaged in these super committed relationships so i'm excited to see what messages we get okay this is the last shuffle deck this is a message for Taurus I do an eight card spread so there'll be four cards up top and four on the bottom we have the chariot as the first card Woof, your cards are flying queen of wands hmm. two of pentacles The Eight of Wands. The Ten of Wands. The Two of Swords. So far it seems like somebody needs to make a decision. Ooh. Three of Swords. nine of wands okay Taurus so to me it seems like either you've made a decision or somebody else has made a decision to end some sort of relationship or partnership so here first card we have the chariot this is cancer energy and this is forward movement so this is you either moving somewhere or going somewhere or traveling or making a decision and I say that because right next to this, you have the Queen of Wands, and this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the Queen of Wands, she knows what she wants, okay? She's a bad mamma jamma. She has it going on. So she's super straightforward. She's passionate. She knows what she wants. She's a decision maker. And look at her. She's like looking off into the distance because she already has her eyes set. She's ambitious and she has a goal. You see this flower right here? This also represents like femininity. And this represents, you know, you just being comfortable with yourself. And she has this staff. And look at her little cat. She's a bad bee, okay? She's a cat lady, but she's a bad bee. But I think here is you needing to make a decision. So I think this could be you or this could be the other person, you know, whoever you're dealing with. But I feel like you know what you have to do, but you're still going back and forth with it in your own mind. That's just what I'm getting right now. And here is the Eight of Wands. And this represents really fast communication this could be over the internet this could be over the phone i feel like it could be the internet or somebody could be coming to you with fast communication or like i said you're coming to them with fast communication on a decision that you're trying to make and i guess whether or not to be with this person because at the bottom here we have the ten of wands and this is somebody carrying you know basically carrying their sh back and being like i'm done I'm taking all of my passion. I'm taking all of the work that I've put into this connection and I'm carrying it with me. It doesn't matter how heavy it is. I'm carrying it with me anyway. And once again, here's a two of swords kind of feeling like the decision is literally in your face or in this person's face and you are avoiding it. You're holding up the sword yourself and you have a mask on your face and the moon is in the background. So intuitively, I think you know that this decision needs to be made. And I personally, I really do feel like this is you. Okay, I'm just going to say it. I just, my intuition is telling me this is you. And I feel like you need to stop avoiding the situation. You just need to make it. And I do think that you know it's going to hurt them or it's going to hurt you. And that's okay. Sometimes you have to make decisions where not everything can be positive in the end. And I think at the end, you know, you're going to have that. This is the wounded warrior of the tarot deck. This is, you know, I've been hurt. I'm done putting up with things. So I'm just going to build a fence around myself and protect myself. So Taurus, I don't, to be honest, I don't know if this is you or if this is the other person. Like I said, we have the chariot, which is cancer energy. And we have the queen of wands, which is fire energy. So you could be dealing with the Cancer or you could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That's what I'm getting for right now. But let's pull some, let's pull eight more cards from the After Tarot deck. And then let's see if we can get a better understanding of what's going on.
And you know, Mercury is in retrograde, like I'm sure all of you guys know, it's actually coming to an end, but Mercury retrograde is all about tying up loose ends. It's not always just about, you know, like miscommunication or travel delays or like not, not signing contracts. I feel like Mercury retrograde is a great time to set goals. It's a great time to revisit goals that you set in the past. I feel like there's a lot of positive things, but you know, it's true. Mercury retrograde does bring around exes. It does bring around old relationships. And it also does bring up issues in your current relationship. So Taurus, I'm hoping we can get a little bit more insight. I'm not sure. You guys might be dealing with an ex. But as of right now, I don't feel like it's, you know, like a past love or a past life type situation. All right, let's pull. This is a follow-up message for Taurus. What the heck is going on? All right, let's see. Too many cards, too many cards. I like to pull one card, you guys. The only time I will take doubles or more than one is if I feel like somebody is really trying to get a message out and they're making cards pop out. I really want to... No, I'm not going to take these two because, like I said, I really want one card. All right. First card out is the Knight of Wands. You guys will see why I'm laughing. Oof. You know what? I'm going to pull these two. I'm going to take these two because I feel like somebody really has a message for you guys. Um, the High Priestess, the Temperance. the page of wands hmm. seven of pentacles the ace of wands Ooh, wow okay the page of cups okay this is getting good this is getting really good i'm excited i'm excited what's the last card what's this message for taurus this is juicy what's this message for taurus what is this message for taurus okay wow okay so Okay, I guess I'm going to keep those two. Y'all saw those pop out, right? Like, I'm not crazy. I'm going to keep them because they really did pop out. And actually, I'm going to put these. Wow. Okay, so, so, ooh, this is juicy. Okay, so first off, we have the Knight of Wands. This is known as the player of the tarot deck, okay? And like I said, from the, oh, dang. Oh, oh hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Oh, my gosh, I'm embarrassing myself. <laughs> okay, bear with me. Bear with me. So, this is known as a player in the tarot deck, okay? This staff, just imagine what part of the body that staff represents, okay? I'm not going to say this on my channel, but this is known as a player of the tarot deck. It's fast-moving passion, okay? Fast-moving communication, fast-moving passionate message. So, and this is where I feel like this is the, the person that you were dealing with is a player and i think that's why you saw the three of swords in the in the beginning of the reading i think this is the person you're dealing with this is fire energy aries leo sagittarius and this is you taurus this is a high priestess so this is water energy this is cancer um actually no high priestess is just cancer sorry excuse me so the high priestess is represented by cancer this is intuitive knowing this is listening to your intuition this is going by your own gut and as you can see, like the high priestess, unlike some of the other cards in the tarot, you can't see what's behind her. So I feel like this is you and you know, you know, old boy or old girl is out here running game. Okay. They're out here giving that community. Mm, all right. And you know that. So this is you sitting pretty, chilling. You know what I'm saying? Emotionally secure. You got your little robe on. You know what I'm saying? You got your little hat on. You're chilling. All right. And then here we have the temperance card. And so this is represented by Sagittarius. And temperance calls for balance. You know what I'm saying? It calls for partnership. It calls for equal give and take. But 
I don't feel like it's necessarily the meaning for this reading. I This is represented by Sagittarius, and I feel like you're dealing with the Sagittarius. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is just what I'm getting. And here on the last row, we have the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is a very passionate messenger. This is like a go-getter. But remember, this is the after tarot deck. So this is what is happening afterwards. So I feel like, and once again, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you guys are dealing with the Sag. I really do. And I feel like this is you. And I think you're like, bye. Boy, bye. I don't want you on your dusty staff. I know you've been giving that staff to God knows who else around the corner. Kiki up the block. Yolanda around the corner. I don't want it. So you kicked him out. And going back to the temperance card, you know what I'm saying? If you are dealing with Sagittarius, look, usually this cup is upright and full. This means the emotion is coming out. So I feel like they were coming. Okay. Let me put this in. They were coming to offer up this cup of love. Because cup is emotional. Okay. This is water energy. Like, well, this card isn't water energy. But cups represent emotions and water energy. So like I said, he was coming. The Sag was coming with his offering. You turned him down and you kicked him out, right? In here. This is the Seven of Pentacles. Excuse me. <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles. And this represents, you know, working on things, working on your goals, working on your finances. Pentacles is finance. It's stability. It's being grounded. It's focusing on the things that you actually need instead of the things that you actually want. And Pentacles, of course, is earth energy. And that's Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And here you are, you know what I'm saying? Like you're, you know, you're still working on these, but here you are marveling a part of the project. You're not done, but you're on your way there. And look what's coming towards you, the Ace of Wands. So remember what I told you, what this body part meant? Look, you got another one coming, okay? Y'all got some new mm, coming around the corner. So stop stressing about old boy, okay? You got something new coming around the corner. And look at this. You got the Page of Cups. And I'll explain these two queens in a second because this goes along with the message. So here's the Page of Cups. Once again, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a love offering. This is like the Page of Cups is the most sincere and the most humble and just genuine offering of love in the tarot deck. You know, it also represents a younger figure. Maybe you're, you know, somebody new is coming into your life and they might be a little bit younger than you. But this is what their card represents. And I think, to be honest, Taurus, you got options, okay? You have options. These two queens you guys saw, they flew out when I was trying to pull for this reading. And I think you have a Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups is very emotionally secure. She's almost like the High Priestess. Very emotionally secure. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And here you have the Queen of Wands. She knows what she wants and she goes after what she wants. Just like you saw in the first reading, she goes after what she wants. So I feel like, you know, it can go either way. Because I pulled, I believe I pulled the Queen of Wands in the first reading too. So, I mean, y'all don't get me for this, okay? Don't get me for this. But some of y'all could be in a same-sex relationship. Some of you guys, this could be a best friend or this could just be two energies you know what i'm saying regardless of gender have it go either way but i do think taurus that you have options and i do think that new love is coming in so you know what stop messing with this dirty sagittarius okay drop him get on with your life and let that be all because look i'm telling you somebody's coming in with a cup of love and it's coming in it's coming in quick so there you go, Taurus. I really hope you enjoyed this reading, and I hope to see you guys in the next week. See ya!